Hi, my name is Lisa and I will be talking about the semi-conservative model of DNA. This will include the other old models and the Messelson style experiment. The conservative model and the dispersive model were both old models that were thought to be accurate. However, these were proven to be false by the Messelson style experiment. The conservative model showed that the old DNA strand was saved meaning the replicate of the DNA did not contain any of the old DNA strand. While on the other hand, the dispersive model showed that various sizes of old and new DNA strands mixed together. The Messelson style experiment had the aim of distinguishing old and new DNA strands, so two strands of DNA were labelled with different isotopes. E. coli was grown in the presence of the N15 heavy isotope and the N14 light isotope. When these are centrifuged, we can see how the strands separate on the basis of their density. So, a sample of E. coli with N15 was added to the N14 flask, and the first sample, generation 0, was centrifuged. Samples were then taken every 20 minutes and the following results were obtained. Generation 0 shows nearly 100% of the sample is marked with N15. Generation 1 shows the result of N15 strands mixed with N14 strands. This results in an intermediate. Generation 2 contained approximately half of the strands containing only the N14 light isotope strands and half mixed with the N15 and N14 strands. In conclusion of the experiment, the only model that could explain this was the semi-conservative model. This is how the Messerson-Stahl experiment proved that the semi-conservative model was indeed correct.